Hello! So this will be my first tutorial and it's a tutorial about a cobblestone generator. So basically this is my cobblestone generator. It's not 100% my design but I adapted the design to my needs and so this is what I come with. So there's a switch here so right now I think the generator is off no it's on so now it's off I could break all the bricks here on any any columns this is a cobblestone generator that's by the way it's easy easy to buy to build even in survival so that's why I like that design so I would uh, turn it on to show you it will fill up So you just have to break and collect all the cobblestone here and they're always going to come out. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So first I have to dig a 9 by 9 uh, square tree deep. So 9 by 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to go three deep. Two deep, three deep. Okay, so I got my 9 by 9 square and 3 deep. I just will remove this cube just to know which way I'm looking when I'm in the hole. Okay, so now next step is redstone. You just put redstone all around like this. And then you do a cross in the center. Okay, then you dig one more deep like this.
then you're gonna put your pistons so there's one here one here one here one here one here one here 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 okay so that's it for the bottom so we're gonna do the uh, well the part in between the switch and the the machine and so it's uh, it's very simple you put a block and a redstone torch sorry about the auto saving okay so now you put a red torch behind a uh, redstone <coughs> Then you cover your redstone with a block and you cover the redstone with a block. Then you put a repeater that way on four tick. Now you're gonna see it works. But now we're gonna add a switch, a lever on that to control it. So you're gonna put a repeater here, redstone here, redstone here. You put a block here, here. You don't need that one. And. Now you can put a half slab here to cover, some block here, you put your lever, I don't want it that way, I want it the other way, hey, okay, that way. So now when I flip the lever, it stops, I turn it up, turn it on again. Okay, next step, we're almost done by the way, and I'm not kidding, okay, you just put some blocks all around like this, in fact you put blocks all over the redstone dust, so like this, and over the redstone dust like this like this whoops like this then put some over the pistons Okay, now we're gonna put the lava and the water, but it's important, very important, to put the water first and to be very careful to not break those blocks. One of those four blocks. If you break them, you're gonna be in trouble. So you put the water first. So you put water here, 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 like that. Then you put your lava in the center of each. Okay, now everything is done. We just need to cover it to be sure nothing get break, nothing fall into the lava, etc. 
So we cover that like this. Okay, next steps. The next step is optional, but if you want to have most of the cobblestone you break, you're gonna have to do that. So, uh, you just turn it on for one second and turn it off. So, look, just so there's one block. No, so now you know where the center is. So, I recommend you to use iron blocks or um, obsidian if you can, but iron block is easier. To put in the center so the cobblestone you break won't fall there and it won't get stuck in there and it's a hard block so you won't break the column itself so you're gonna have to put 10 or 11 depending of how you want it if you want it like that it's 11 if you want it to finish flush the top flush it's 10 10 high so I'm gonna put 11 because I think it look better with 11 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. like this and if you don't want enemy to pop on your tower you're best to put a uh, red uh, no not <laughs> a torch put a torch on top just to be sure that you you won't get a creeper or a skeleton or something popping on those pillars Okay, so it's done. So you can turn it on, and the pillars go are going to grow. You could, you can decorate, put a building around it if you want. You can just put torch like me around it to be sure. Again, no enemy will pop around it. Um, I got some little bug with that machine, with that uh, generator. Sometimes it it just stuck, and some column don't get fill up. When that happens, you just turn it off for a couple seconds like this, and turn it back on, and it's gonna start back. Don't ask me what is the problem. I don't know. I just know that. When you do that, it start again. It's just so you break. It's gonna grow back. So there it is. Thank you for watching my first tutorial, and please comment and like and share my first video and uh, thanks for watching see you later